What's up, Simon? It's welcome to a new episode of App Review. This week I got three applications like usual. Um, two are kind of small applications, one is a bigger application at the end that we will learn a lot from. As far as I know, all of them are built with Ionic. I found them either through comments or a conversation on Twitter or anywhere in this world. Uh, you sometimes think that I kind of roast them, but it's really just to show what you can improve or should improve in the future. I'm always happy for these people that they released applications. They already did a great job up front. These are just information to make their apps even better or make your apps in the future even better. So let's take a look. Okay, first application is an application by a member of the Ionic Academy. It's called Kelwood from Simon Barker. I think it's kind of about workouts of the day. So let's check this out on my device. I actually kind of like the icon and the splash screen, really simplistic, uh, everything you need to know. I don't know why I don't see the shadows correctly uh, from Reflector here on my Mac, because there are actually shadows here on this card. So it kind of looks a bit better, definitely. I like that it starts with an image and I don't know what's happening. Oh, I guess I can click this one. Yeah, I can go to this quick hit. Uh, and start a workout, CrossFit Classic, whatever, calories. Well, there's uh, a lot of good information in here. It's not too much, but I think uh, some parts that are important should be highlighted with a bit more font weight. Um, so everything is just plain in here, so you don't really know where to look immediately. If you have something that's a bit bigger in font size or font weight, usually it's like an eye catcher. So, uh, I immediately would look like to the calories. So, oh, so many calories. Uh, that's cool. But anyway, just a small thing. Let's start this. And yeah, looks like um, I can do my workout now. Press start and press pause. It's a simple countdown. Let's pause. Let's start. Can I? Uh, you did a quick hit. You crushed it in zero seconds. Yeah, that was a great workout. <laughs> then we got a list right here below. Um, I think f maybe it's pretty clear and obvious for people from that niche or from like CrossFit stuff what this is about. I really don't know it. I guess it's just names of different workouts that I could start. Um, each of them have a kind of related image. Um, oh, interesting. There are ads in this application. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, so that's the way to monetize. It looks like it's just basic application with a few workouts. Uh, within my history, I'm able to find this, but uh, okay, I can kind of delete it. Well, I can't really view it. Of course, I would expect to view my history. Also, one thing, um, this is like a standard Ionic slide to delete. You, you open it and then you can delete it. First thing, um, quickly about this implementation, if you have a slide to delete, I would definitely remove the padding. You see the text is going out here before the um, phone actually ends. So there's a padding of like five or 10 pixels here and here everywhere. And otherwise, the button would come out from like completely from the side and the text would also go out of the side. If it's like this and you see the padding on the sides, I don't really like this. Also, a uh, second fact about this, there's actually a way using the anima uh, Ionic Animations controller, API, whatever, to implement something that you can swallow this to the side and even more. Um, so that you get like the effect you see in the mails application where you can just swipe it quickly to the side and it's completely deleted. So right now it's the standard ionic sliding, you slide open, you press delete. But the other one is actually a bit cooler uh, and it's definitely possible these days already with ionic. I think it's, it's kind of cool that you get a quick idea for I want to show my favorite workouts in an application, I want to have a timer, why don't I build something like this? You don't need too much. I, I really like the red colors. That's actually kind of stylish. We got it in the header. We got the red color here in the tab bar. Cool little application. If you're into CrossFits, check it out, Kelwood. Um, I think it's available everywhere. Um, to Simon, I hope you understand the small things. If you want to continue work on this, 
um, perhaps integrate them, maybe, um, well, make it just a bit more appealing, perhaps add list headers or dividers, um, just a bit more of information around this. I usually preach that we need a lot of space and everything needs to be wide, but in some places I think a bit more of description could actually be great, but I think it was his first application, so great job for bringing this out. Application number two is going to be interesting because I think it's in like French, perhaps. Um, it's only available on Google Play, so uh, we won't have the best UI of that application, but I got it on my device. Yeah, uh, that's a really huge device. Uh, uh, <clears throat> it's interesting that this is only available on Google Play and as a web version, actually. Um, so on Google Play, yeah, it looks like it's French and it has a web version um maybe we'll take a look at it as well but i want to check out the application the website is actually pretty cool so i really expect a lot from this application let's check it out i'm not sure if this should really be the icon or if it's kind of resized on my strange android version um but anyway let's dive into it okay we got an introduction screen um I won't read those texts because you will laugh at me, um, so I will try to do only what's necessary, uh, I guess. We can learn a bit of French, so that should mean like continue or start, <laughs> perhaps. Um, I like that it uses just this one color, even across the images in the SVG images. So um, I think I can find some uh, a new flat somewhere in whatever country. Um, I don't really want to sign up. Interesting that you can't even view something without uh, signing up. Um, the text on this page, um, I kind of like this input for the telephone, actually. That's pretty cool. Um, but actually, it's... Uh, okay, I thought it was like a tech input that I could change, but it's more like just a static image of this number. But anyway, I really... Okay, now it's coming up. Uh, I was just maybe too fast or my UI is too slow. One of those. Confirm confirmer. Uh, sweet Jesus. Um, send help. You can send me a new Android phone if you don't need your old one. It will definitely be better than this one, which actually wasn't too bad a few years ago. Now, from the first look, I really like the UI, um, pretty clear, I like the colors used across the application, there's a lot of padding, uh, we got a bit of drop shadow here and there, we got a nice floating action button, which actually asked me to sign up once again, do I have to sign up everywhere in this application? Um... The sign up form is also very simplistic, just with this, uh, like, uh, little header text and the fields, um... Quick fact, uh, if you set the, uh, for input fields, the keyboard mode or the uh, done button, enter key, hint, something like this, you can actually specify how this key should look like. So you could make that key actually say done or send or anything like this. Just a quick fact. Let's try and sign up. Okay, so it looks like I can't really do a lot uh, without logging in. I would actually expect to see at least uh, the uh, offers uh, without my login. I'm not sure why now the application was closed and opens again. Um, but once one thing, I really like the clean UI. I like uh, changing here between the different tabs. I like the popover. I think cases like this are really a great showcase for simple Ionic applications. You don't need a lot. You need this list. Uh, you need your uh, whatever notifications. You need your profile here. You got the floating action button. Basically everything we see on this screen is like the standard. Even the search input field looks pretty cool. Um, the person who created this really took uh, into consideration that they have this primary color of their brand and that they want to use it, they want to have round borders in all the places. Um, so I really think this looks great and is a great example for how to easily build an application for a business like this, which is perhaps selling uh, any houses, I'm not sure if it is legit, I uh, really don't want to promote this too much. Looks like this is the overview you see, but really a super clean and simple UI. It's enough to deliver value for your clients or for anyone interested. And I think there's actually not too much to complain about this. It's a simple application, it does exactly what it should. If I had an account, I might have been able to log in, but everything from the public pages over to the sign up and everything that I've seen looks cool, looks with one color, got enough of space, so really cool application, all the best for your business, and I don't know in which country this is. Benin, maybe, yeah. 
Um, so all the best for your business and hopefully you can promote this and also release an iOS version for um, people like me. I'm very excited about the last application of the day. I found this in a conversation on Twitter. It was created with Ionic as well, as far as I know. And I actually had to create an account in a different store just to get this application. But I really wanted to get this. It's like a garden planner and these images got me really thinking because we're also building a house and I'm planning the garden a bit as well. So available on Play, App Store and as a web application. <laughs> Quick fun fact. This is the web application and it still has the title Ionic app and the same uh, icon here. So um, please change this. Uh, don't want to say more about this. So let's check out the application. What I don't like uh, about the application really quick is the logo. Uh, we've seen simple logos like this. They work great. Logos like, come on, this don't really work great. Text in logos, way too small. Um, a lot of things you, you're not able to really see this from a device that there's from seed to spoon and this is a soon you you can't really see this so just use more simple icons maybe the half of the spoon uh, zoom it in so you can see it's a zoom with a lot of fruits on it just as a quick note let's see um yeah i don't like that splash screen as well um okay hello using my application um yeah Two queries for uh, location and notifications upfront in the application, a real no-go. I really don't know why I have to accept both of them in the beginning because I don't see value when just starting the application. You should really always delay these things until there's a reason, like you want to see the plans around you or you want to get notifications about blog posts or anything like this. But don't ask for even two things right in the beginning. Uh, your users will just click no because they don't know and they will never ever again activate it. But here we are inside the application. Um, from the first look, this looks like a website that was kind of shrinked into an application. Um, I see a lot of information, um, although I kind of like this swipe thing um, and you don't really need swipe for more uh, on phones anymore. Um, people are really used to this if they see a half uh, circle like this. They usually know what to do by now in the year 2020. Um, then we also see six tabs. Um, I have seen three, I've seen four, perhaps I've seen five, but I think I've never seen six. Although it works, it's really a lot of information at once. We got uh, the header, we got a link to somewhere, we got these icons, we got browse and search, and then the list begins. We got additional filters and this. It's just too much for me on this first page. Um, so let's just, I don't know, go into Aiken Squash. And yeah, these pages as well, um, there could be a bit more padding because here is padding, here's no padding. Um, so just keep it maybe in one line here. Up here we also don't have the swipe more and I already know it. It's really a lot of information in this application. I understand that the, uh, some stuff might be complex and you need to show things. Actually, that's kind of kind of cool. I, I really like this view and I like squirrels. Let's check out squirrels. <laughs> so here we see another interesting thing. The menu button is visible and we got a back button. Uh, I usually like to just have a back button here because that's just a bit crowded in the bar up here. Uh, I'm really sorry that I have so many things about this application, but it's a bigger application and I will definitely look more closely at it afterwards because I'm interested in the topic, but these are just things I, I have to say. That's a bit too crowded. We also got four more icons here, which don't even have the standard icon uh, button size. So on my device, I really, it's hard to tap them. It might not look small on here, but it's really, it's definitely too small for a button on a mobile phone. On uh, nested pages, I like to just have the back button. And when I'm back at the top, I want to like to see my menu button. So that's fine. Um, it's interesting that we have a tab bar and a menu with mostly the same. I think I would actually get rid of the tab bar and just use the menu. If you have everything in here anyway, why use tabs as well? So um, don't really see value in combining these things. All in all, this application really shows a lot of information. And for me, I think it's too much information. I guess you might have had the uh, web or had any web version uh, before, and then you decided to build an application and you tried to put all the information into that application. In some parts, it worked great. Uh, I really like these sliders up here, uh, the search, 
the list is also quite clear, but once you go into the details, there's really a lot of information. Um, I'm really not sure how to show this in a better way, but I feel like there are too many icons and everything on this screen. Especially this bar up here is kind of annoying and makes even more trouble for my brain because I see all of these icons all the time, so I try to understand what they are about, what all the other stuff on this page is about. Um, just a bit too much on each and every screen of this application, um, too much with the tab bar, too much information with the menu. Maybe you can try to make this a bit more simple. Um, think about the functions that you need and you don't need and just get rid of a few of these things. Um, really, um, it's a great application, I guess, and it can be really, really helpful. It has a great rating so far, so people are definitely using this application and find a lot of value in it. But for me, this application just shows a bit too much and feels like a website converted to an application, uh, which usually doesn't feel too good if you're used to native applications. All right, so what did we learn today? Uh, the first application, Calvort, was a kind of simple application. It might need a bit more information in a few places, but it was a great example of how you can basically solve your own problems or build something useful with your own application, with your very first application to help like uh, with workouts. Second application was only available in French and was kind of behind this uh, login wall which I couldn't pass but the UI was pretty great. Uh, there was one primary color that we could find in all the places, there was a lot of padding and spacing around the elements and I really enjoyed the UI of our second application. The third application had a lot of information really, a great application and I will definitely look more closely at it later but it felt to some degree like somebody was just shrinking a website into a mobile application and that usually doesn't work. You should find a different approach to converting a website to a mobile application, reduce the number of menu items, really just put only the most important things on a page and maybe um, add other things behind buttons, don't add too many buttons, have a clear navigation, so there are really a lot of different things that could be improved with that application. Maybe, maybe we could even have a format where I kind of rebuild these applications, let me know what you think of this. I also had the idea of having like an app of the month challenge or video, um, perhaps you can do something about this if you enjoy this format and seeing other applications or how they might have built that application. I hope you learned from this video, I hope you can build your applications with great functionalities and the things you saw in this video. If you need any more help, always let me know in the comments. If you have any other applications that you would like to see in app review, just leave them in the comments and now have a great week of happy coding, Simon.